real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Jody Medley says the defendant is her brother, and growing up they were very close, despite the fact that he was arrested for selling drugs at age 16. Jody is suing her brother today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Lamar Medley says his sister is a drug addict who uses cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol. Lamar admits that Jody gave him $4,000, but he insists the money was a gift, and she only wants it back now because she blew through a $186,000 settlement. All right, start with you. Uh, growing up together, me and Lamar were very close, considering that we're a boy and a girl, and there's a bit of an age difference between us. So he was very, very spoiled, very spoiled as a child, incredibly. He didn't even, his feet didn't touch the floor till he was like two or three years old because he went from lap to lap to lap <laughs> in the family. So I believe that is a big part of why he feels as though he can take his time in paying me back the debt that he owes me. All right, let me hear from you, some background. Well, Yana, you know, me and my sister, you know, we grew up, you know, in a tight knit family, you know, but my sister clearly, you know, she she she's on drugs, Yana. She she grew up but on drugs. Yeah. This lady right here is on drugs. She 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 what wants type the money. Of drugs, you know? She cocaine, mm -hmm. marijuana, and alcohol. Mm -hmm. you know, that is a lie, Your Honor. You know? Because I seen her, I seen her when, when she looks at her, at her best and when she, you know, right now she got a Sunday best on for you. Mm -hmm. But Of course, yes, to but, come to court respectful. But, but, man. but I'm going to just give you a little more of the background. My sister, you know, she 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 was out on her own when she was uh when she was 18. You know, it was times 16. when it was it was times, you know, coming up when my mother used to cook dinner and, and, and she she was out on the streets partying drinking, getting high with her little boyfriends and whoever she was running with, drinking and drugging. I used to I used to make a plate, put it on the back porch for her because I wanted to make sure that she ate, you know what I mean? Back then, back then it was it was more or less marijuana and alcohol. But I'm saying the progression has progressed through through, you know, her coming up and getting older, it's progressed into cocaine use. And she still she know, though. How do I know? Because I've seen it. Her, okay. one, of her, one of her boyfriends, yeah. this year, her longtime boyfriend okay. that she was with for years told me that she was getting high again. But then she she goes back and forth with the, the other undesirable boyfriend, you know, that she was messing with, getting high, drinking, smoking, all this kind of stuff. All right, let me hear from you on the loan. Okay. Obviously, you didn't give or loan him four thousand dollars. I didn't if, give him four thousand dollars. If so, you're the sir, best dope no. fiend I've met. <laughs> Lady right here is on drugs. She 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 wants the money. Drugs, you know? She cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol. Obviously, you didn't give or loan him four thousand dollars. I just, didn't give him four thousand dollars. If so, you're the sir, best no. dope fiend I've met. <laughs> Plaintiff Jody Medley is suing her brother, who claims Jody is a drug addict who blew through a hundred eighty-six thousand dollars settlement and has nothing to show for it. Wait, no, wait, Honor, may I say something? Yeah. I have actually tried almost everything except needles, cocaine, heroin, pills, and I didn't like any of them. Mm -hmm. Cocaine gave me a bad headache. I couldn't eat, and I like to eat. I'm a drug <laughs> addict that can eat all the time. So I don't know why he even came out his mouth and said that. Only thing in my system is oxycodone, and there may be some residuals why from marijuana. That? Because I have four titanium rods in my back, and I settled oh, okay. a lawsuit, which was how I was able to lend him the money. Okay. Well, I asked him what happened to the lawsuit. Hold on, money. sir. How much, approximately? Um, it was after the lawyer and law cash, I got $110,000. Okay, to when? Me. February of last year. Okay, and the reason I'm asking this is that I'm allowing you to indicate how you were able to afford to loan him 4000 because that's a lot of money to loan or to give away. And so it helps for you to tell <laughs> me how you can afford to loan or give away 4000 because I can't. <laughs> at, the, at that time, I could. Yeah, he was definitely tried. I told him no, and he's my right hand man. <laughs> at that time, I could, and I still had about five figures left when I loaned him the four thousand dollars. And you're doing all right still? No, I made a bad investment. I went into promoting concerts, and the you and may it, as well go to <laughs> Vegas, and you'll lose all your money quicker. <laughs> and nobody shows up, and I lost yeah, eighty-five thousand dollars. that's the highest one show. of the highest risk businesses in the uh, entertainment industry is promoting promoting concerts concerts, promoting any event. The event promoting is extremely risky. All right, you lost your money over how long a period of time? Um, seven weeks. Mm, seven weeks. You must have invested in one show yes. or an entire yes. tour. Yes, um, one show. Who was the artist? 
<laughs> All right, uh, she's a great singer, and it was only her, however. And there was another local trio and another single guy. That, How many seats? Um, the seat, the place, the venue held 2,200, but only 147 people came. Oh, you are the advertiser. She, yeah, she can fill up 10,000. The location 000. was, uh, people said it was like in the woods, it was far away, it was a bad spot. Oh, okay. Location then. Yeah, that can happen. Yep. If people aren't familiar with, see, that's what I'm saying. You got to know what you're doing on that concert thing. <laughs> All right. Um, and I would like to also say, um, another thing since we went to drugs um, my brother had got in trouble for selling drugs to drug addicts when? and when he was 16 though it's been a while he hasn't been in trouble in about 10 years longer than that y'all I got to pass everybody else got to pass too y'all that's not that's not that's not the case that, that, that we're trying to put before you my sister needs help I am you not on drugs up, right okay, now brought it up all, but it's 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 help. right my and sister you brought it up as part of your defense right that, that absolutely is the truth and and did she give me four thousand dollars she did give it to me she gave it to me I as a it. gift a she debt. gave it to me as a gift she never gave it to me as a loan it was no contingencies on you have to pay me back this money. Has you got she your done money that? in February of 10? Yes. And you loaned him the money or gave him the money, however we determine it is? In August. August of 10. How did it occur? What happened? Well, he actually contacted me on the 20th of August. Mm -hmm. He was like, Jody, um, can I have a couple of dollars? I was like, all right. And then he said a couple grand. Oh. I was like, you know, no problem. I figured it was the way he said, it, I knew it was more a couple hundred. That's not true. But I, we never, I got nothing in writing because we had exchanged. You, we're not talking about that yet. So how do we go from a couple of grand to four? So, um, so I was like, okay, no problem. So then, no, I said, how much? He, I said a couple grand. He was like about that a little more. I was like, 2,500, he said a little more. I said 3,500, he was like 4,000. I was like, okay, and I had it, so it was no problem. I said, come and get it in a couple of days. You didn't That's ask him what he needed it for? No, no, I didn't. No. Okay, doesn't matter, huh? No, because okay. we had- no wonder you broke again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people just come to you for whatever mom don't have to tell you. They don't have to no. say, mom, being put out of my house, no. or uh, it's some type of desperation. It's just come, hey, give me 4,000. No, because okay, he's no a problem. baby brother, and I had it, and he's He's paid me back money before. It hasn't been that amount, but I just I didn't ask because I thought I was going to have, have had it back. When did and you was, expect him to repay? Um, the first payment was supposed to be ninety days later of a thousand dollars. How much was that to be? A thousand and a hundred dollars oh. per month thereafter. You have a pretty decent job. Uh, he was driving. You don't even know whether he worked to be yeah. able to pay you back. Okay, and I had it, so it was no problem. I said, come and get it in a couple of days. You didn't ask him what he needed it for? No, no, I didn't. Okay, we had no wonder you broke again. <laughs> All right, people just come to you for whatever amount, don't have to tell you. It's just come, hey, give me 4000 No, because okay, he's no a problem. baby brother, and I had it, and... Plaintiff Jody Medley is suing her brother, who claims Jody is a drug addict who blew through a $186,000 settlement and has nothing to show for it. How can you loan somebody $4,000 and not know how they're going to pay you back, ma'am? Well, that's why I said in 90 days, give me the first $1,000. How? how did you expect him to give you $1,000? I didn't care as long as he, I don't know. Okay, and that's what people do when they're giving money. They don't care because they don't expect it back. When a person gives that amount of money, they have an idea on how they're gonna get it back. Particularly if they say, I want $1,000 in 90 days. You have to know how they're gonna give you your thousand. What do you think he was going, is he a criminal? No, not as far as I know. Could he afford to give you a uh, thousand in 90 days? He didn't say it, but he couldn't at the time. Cause she never, she never said that it was any contingency. You agreed to it, but when we were eating lunch. I never, I never agreed to it. My wife can attest to that. You never agreed to I pay her a thousand dollars in she, ninety days. Never, cause she never said anything about it. If she had, she would have said that, Judge Memphis. I would, I would have never took the money. She knows that she gave me the money as a gift, but now since the well is run dry, she's trying to come at me because she already knows that I'm stable. She knows that I got a house, I got a car, I got a job. She knows that this is where she can get the money from to go ahead and support her habit or what she has wow. going on as far as drinking, drugging with those people that's undesirable. They used her First for the of all, money. I don't need that the money used to her, that has used her, that has used her for the money in the beginning. Had she listened, she don't even have a house, a car, none of that to show four hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars. Ma'am, is that you don't even have? A car? I don't know how to drive, Your Honor. But she don't have a house either. No. 
She don't have enough. That's what I'm saying. 186,000. Well, that's, that's, that's a foreign cry for four thousand dollars, Your Honor. That's a foreign cry. What happened to the hundred and eighty-two? That's why I only wound up with one hundred and ten thousand. Eighty-five of it was lost. I'm trying to tell you, she's drinking and drugging, Your Honor. Right now, she got a Sunday's best song. She cleaned up in front of you, but this ain't how she is. Bringing him to court, Your Honor. My wife, if she wants to say something, she can. But she knows me and me and my wife. She wasn't even there when I gave the money. You made the call for the loan. She know the history of my sister. This is what I'm saying. She wasn't there. What did you need the fourth? for she I, I never asked her for four thousand she gave it to me because she got the settlement i thought she was just breaking bread with me like all right huh why why would you think that when you called and asked me for a couple so thousand you, know, I I did, said, you said how much when, when you when you was talking about getting the money you was like listen i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna take care of tanisia gary i'm gonna put money in the side for them and that's my niece and nephew that's my sister talisha two kids she like i'm gonna go ahead and put money in their name i'm gonna give you some money i'm gonna get tied some money this is stuff she said before that's she even got the money did you help the nieces and nephew no because your honor how i many thought siblings that the show there? was it's just me her and, and two other sisters i'm the i'm the youngest did the other sisters get anything i don't know I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. My, what. I gave the sister immediately after me how much? twelve hundred dollars. But she she told me that she needed it, you know, for help in the house. But she, she but OK, she but OK, she told her. But I didn't. I she didn't never, ask what I'm saying. She because broke I knew bread you would give it to because me because I'm trying to tell you something real. This girl right here, I'm not tell, this, this is a cry. This is a cry to help for me because I know do the fourth thousand. This is this is a cry out to help for me because I know my sister. I can look at her and tell that she needs help right now. You willing to take a urinalysis test? Yes, sir. Right now, yeah, I, I, it's, it's prescription drugs, but she's using it to excess. Though she's using it with the drug, with the, with the marijuana and alcohol. Right now, right now, she might not. I, she, I'm pretty sure she got marijuana in her system. I'm pretty sure she do. Well, you know what's troubling? The problem you have today is that a reasonable person, if somebody came in for four thousand, a reasonable person would say. Four thousand for what? Now you come to the, give me a couple hundred. Yeah, maybe here you go, man. Give me a couple hundred. Give me five hundred. Here you go, man. Give me four thousand. Four thousand for what? What you need four thousand for? I wasn't worried because I still had a little bit of money in the bank, and he's paid me back before, I, and I never asked him before. And you didn't know how he was going to pay you back. No. But she know so I got that's what I'm saying. It's not making sense, ma'am. It's not making sense that you loan somebody four thousand dollars, no questions asked, no. and you don't know how they're going to repay you. That was why after the ninety days, I started sending him texts. But ma'am, you didn't me. know how he was. Oh, you have the text. No, sir. Plaintiff Jody Medley is suing her brother, who claims Jody is a drug addict who blew through a hundred eighty-six thousand dollars settlement and has nothing to show for it. You haven't proven your case. You have the burden of proving by uh, preponderance of evidence that you loaned him this money instead of giving it to him. I'm not convinced. He says it was a gift. He said that he didn't even solicit it from you. Lastly, ma'am, it sounds unreasonable that someone will come to you for four thousand and you don't even ask what they need it for and you have no idea how they're going to repay you therefore you haven't convinced me it might be true but it's your burden to convince me have a good day claim is dismissed You know you need help, man. You know what I'm saying? You know you got to get, get some counseling or something, I cannot man. believe you said, right, I'm LP? I'm trying to tell you, told, man. You know, said you know that, that I am on drugs. I have a you problem. You, know you that, have man. a problem. You're That's supposed to be a Muslim. You lie right That's in it. court. That's it. You piece of